have been very few moments where I decided to go out of my way to compare two devices against each other to see which one is the better device. And the one time which I did this was back in 2022 with the 5th gen iPod Touch and the iPhone 5C. Both of these ended up being pretty close to each other, but this one ended up winning for the fact that it could be a better thing for a kid instead of the iPhone 5C for the fact that you can throw SIM cards into it and just prank call anybody you want. But I decided that I want to do it again, this time with two different devices. Let's see which is a better iPod with 128 gigs. The 6th gen iPod Touch or the 6th gen iPod Classic. Now both of these are 128 gigabyte iPods and I will say that this one's been modded. This is an original factory one. 128 gigs, 128 gigs. Now the reason why I want to bring this up is there's two subgenres of basically using two different iPods with the same storage capacity, which is kind of one of those things which I need to talk about, which is going to be which one would be better at doing what it does with the same amount of storage. Let's start off with the iPod Classic 6th generation. This came out in 2007. It only had a limiting storage factor of 128 gigs, which is weird. This is a weird glitch with the 6th gens, unfortunately. The 6th gen iPod Classic either comes in charcoal gray or silver or just generally black. This is the charcoal gray, and I really love the color a lot. It's got the classic click wheel. It's also got the tiny display, which is not that bad. It's actually fairly nice. For playing video, it's actually totally fine. It's actually fine with its own display. It controls by the classic click wheel, which is very iconic. It's got a headphone jack, it's got a hold switch on it, and it's also running with the 30 pin connector. This originally had 80 gigs in it. As you can see, it originally had 80 gigs, but I modded this with 128 gigs with an iFlash adapter, which is very reliable. I've only had one issue, and it was actually on the first day that I got this guy and I actually modded it. Now let's get into the iPod Touch. Now I will immediately say that this is a nice little device. It is a four inch display, which is not bad for what it is. It's got a white bezel on it. The iPod Touch fifth generation actually had different iterations of colors. This is the hot pink, and this was actually the only 128 gig iPod Touch that I could get from Elite Obsolete Electronics. It's a nice color. Again with the headphone jack, but we have a lightning connector and a speaker. Uh, power button. We also got a camera and a flash, the Wi-Fi antenna spot, and the general back and the iPod logo. This is a touchscreen display, so it's not like a click wheel, although it also does have the home button too, with also a front-facing camera, and it's also got a nice retina display, which means that it's going to look a lot better. Videos work totally fine with the speaker as well, as you can see. <laughs> Here's a tip for anybody out there. The storage capacity of 128 gigs originally came with this model. There were other storage capacities like 32 and 64 gigabytes, but this is the highest end iPod Touch that you could get in its storage capacity with 128 gigs, and that's unfortunately not upgradable. Kind of ironic with especially the iPod Classic storage capacity being capped at 128 gigs. Now that's generally the feature set of both of these iPods with the exteriors and everything. Uh, first thing which I'll immediately go into is the actual functionalities of these guys. First one which I'll talk about is the iPod Classic 6th generation. You can use this as a music player, a video player, you can also use this to play movies and rental movies back, TV shows, podcasts, play some games from the iTunes store which unfortunately is not supported nowadays, store photos, and that's really it. You could look at clocks and calendars and clocks and use the stopwatch and everything, but a lot of people are probably just going to use this for music, maybe even just videos. On to the iPod Touch 6th generation though. This not only has Wi-Fi in it and Bluetooth, so this means that not only could you hook up to like speakers wirelessly, but you can also hook up to the modern Wi-Fi network. You can download games, you can download music, you can download applications, do web browsing, watch YouTube videos online, so and so and other things, use the cameras and there's so much. You can even buy like movies, TV shows and music on this iPod. You can use Spotify, you can use SoundCloud, use Wavs, Flax. You can turn this into your entire smartphone if you really wanted to and that kind of gives it the way to be able to say, this is a better iPod. Not so fast though, because it's meaning something else, 
when you buy an iPod. Yes, you could use the iPod Touch as your main iPod. You can absolutely use it as your main iPod or even your phone because it's got the storage and everything. But people don't buy it to replace everything. They're using it to play music. If music is what you're looking for, then you just press shuffle and then you go. You can go in and click and go past all these music artists if you really wanted to, or you can just go in and like, I don't know, not have advertisements. People will say that this is a better iPod for the fact that you can be on the internet, download Spotify and so and so, but you have to still deal with the distractions of most apps like Instagram or like notifications in general, text messages, your iCloud account basically complaining that it's run out of storage, but also including like, the battery life. This guy would be a horrible iPod for the fact that you can download apps like Spotify and even Discord. There is no way that you could just go out of your way to say, oh yeah, this is a better iPod for the fact that you can just, I don't know, download apps. Well, yeah, you could say that and use the camera and such, but people don't use it to download applications or play games so much. They're using it to play music. So both of these are in the same range, but which one would be better at what it's doing? This would. This is able to hold so much more with like not only its music, but also just being able to throw videos on it. The actual iPod touch here is very limited in its like storage capacity, even after putting everything on it. This is the storage capacity on my iPod Touch, and if you were to scroll down, oh look, basically both of these take up the majority of the storage. You also have to take into account of how much storage some apps are actually gonna be, including Genshine Impact and some other applications. They could be an absolute haul against this iPod Touch, especially with it getting hot and the battery life, it's not that good. Meanwhile, this guy is just settling in with its videos and its music, nothing else. Maybe podcasts even then, but you're primarily using this for music. Yeah, sure, the video experience is kinda okay. It's not gonna be that great for the fact that the videos themselves are on 640p, but I mean, honestly, I would take that against having advertisements being screamed at me from Netflix for watching Stranger Things. Yes, this is the amazing digital circus. Relax. Even if you didn't throw videos on there as intended, like as a serious thing, you could just do this as a fun project. I mean, it's fun, right? You could literally just throw 1080p or even 4K videos onto the iPod Touch and yes, they will be at their original resolution, it's gonna take up the storage, especially huge movies in their original resolutions. This guy you just have to convert down and then there, you got your TV shows and your movies, your videos and everything. You can have this and not have all the storage taken up even with all the videos on there. I need to make at least one Bluey reference, right? There you go. So even though, yes, you could say, oh yeah, the iPod Touch is just a better iPod because it's able to download applications and just use everything, is it really better? Because this guy you could just have with no distractions. Even if you were alone with just this guy, it would keep you entertained for a long time. And especially when you can upgrade the battery and the storage, it's just so much better. Oh, don't worry about me, I'm just watching Bluey. That's fun, right? Oh, damn it, I'm out of Wi-Fi. I guess I'm gonna play some Baldi's Basics. Either way, both of these devices have their benefits. This guy can download applications and you can play games offline. Maybe you can download YouTube videos. Majority of the time, people won't because they don't care enough to be able to put videos onto an iPod Touch because, I mean, you're gonna always have internet, right? No. Meanwhile, look at me. I have Bluey on my iPod. Three hours worth of Bluey. It's a beautiful little site. I swear that's gonna be at least the last reference for this video, I promise, I'll let this play on this iPod. Again, both of these iPods have their benefits, but this guy has to always be connected on Wi-Fi whenever it's Spotify or any of that, unless you have a Spotify premium subscription, but this guy you can always put like anything you want, and you can even install other like OS's on it, like Rockbox and so, if you're like on Windows. I just like the regular iPod OS though, I like it. But which one would be the winner though? Like which one would be the winner for what would be, just what would be the better iPod? If I had to be honest, that's kind of a, kind of a comparison that I can't really make because obviously I would go with this guy. I, I like 
the classic iPod so much. Like even with the videos and everything, like just using this guy and having just everything on it, it's awesome. But this guy, this guy can download games and applications and everything, but I don't really care enough to actually use it. I've tried using this as my main iPod, but I don't care. And also the battery sucks. You can't upgrade the storage either. So, I mean, yes, it's not a bad iPod and it's got its benefits, but it's not quite on the top, champ. This thing, on the other hand, you could just literally throw in your pocket and have every single video if you wanted to download them, of course, and all your music and everything, either in AACs, MP3s, Waves, go for it. Glamorously enjoying videos on the go, and even if you're camping, you can enjoy with no interruptions, unless there's somehow advertisements on your iPod, which something's seriously wrong with you. So I would truly say the better iPod, at least for me anyway, is the iPod Classic 6th generation. For the fact that this is basically every single piece of music in your pocket with no interruptions, besides the other people in the same room as you. For the fact you're probably listening to the music or the show you're watching too loudly. So I would say thank you so much for watching. I know people are gasping for the fact that I made four Bluey references in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time when I talk about Drive. Bye.